I really love the idea of wearable fashion design or avant-garde fashion design that can be worn by a person, but they're not intended to be worn every day. I've always loved fashion, and I didn't really explore garment making until Object Runway here three years ago. And I thought it was a really great opportunity to take my kind of love and appreciation for fashion design and garment making and make it more of an artistic expression. My work is definitely experimental, and I think that I've taken a lot more risks than I would have when I was younger or when I was first starting out as an artist. I like that. I like that people are surprised or, you know, think that I'm, I'm doing something that's um, not ordinary. I'm not sure if the model comes first or the idea. I think it depends. It's, it's pretty important to me um, to know who I'm working with and to make a connection with who I'm working with because I really feel like in the fashion industry, models are hangers for the clothing. Um, the model's supposed to be hidden and, and shapeless so that the clothing speaks for itself. And I don't believe in that philosophy when it comes to fashion making or, or dress making or garment making. I want it to be um, a holistic expression, and so I want the person who models it to be really specific based on my relationship with them, based on their personality, based on something that I think would work and express who they are. I'm really, really inspired by Alaska. I've been here 14 years, and I moved here when I was 19, and I credit my time in Alaska to really kind of figuring out who I was and definitely giving myself a voice as an artist. I think sometimes we move day to day just kind of in a, this robotic way and we don't spend the time to really take in um, our environment and so I like to do that in a, in a much more direct visual way. I call back to the Alaska landscape. I do a lot of work with natural materials, so sometimes I will use wood or flowers or bark. I'm doing one garment out of feathers, and I um, wanted to get cruelty-free feathers, so I had to research a way to find them and, and order them, and I'm also doing a garment with horse hair. So it's more than just going to the fabric store. There's always challenges. In dressmaking, for instance, I don't have any formal training in fashion design or dressmaking or tailoring, and so I figure it out as I go. And I am a working artist, so I, I have a full-time job and a couple part-time jobs, and I do that because I fund my own art career, and that's that can be a really big challenge because it's trying to find the balance between work and time to work on my art. But I like to challenge myself generally, and then the more risks I take, and the more they don't kill me, <laughs> and the more um, I have success with those risks, the more I'm willing to take more. And I think that helps you grow as an artist, is, is taking the risks to fail. <laughs>